Guys, so today we are getting a glimpse into the future of gaming. It's a very exciting time right now. Technology is just bounding and leaping ahead. We've got so many exciting things on the horizon with games and, and just the tech that's coming out and things like that. And this is a brand new mod on Unreal Engine 5. So if you guys remember uh, like a month or two ago, there was an Unreal Engine 5 Matrix demo that came out that we posted a video on this channel. A lot of people talked about it. it just kind of shut off this new tech, this new graphics engine, all the you know textures and the lighting and the, the physics was a big part of it. People were posting like crash test videos showing the cars running into each other and crumpling and glass breaking and everything else. It's the cutting edge technology that all the games of the near future are gonna be developed on. And uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. It wasn't anything too crazy in terms of gameplay, but it was a cool you know, way to show it off. Well, there's a very talented indie developer by the name of Tyson Butler Boshma. I'm going to link his Twitter down in the description. And he, just a couple days ago, released this mod for it. So instead of being in the Matrix and just walking around and stealing cars, he put Superman in this game. And it is a fully functioning Superman with like a flowy cape and everything. And you can you can fly, you can super sprint. I'm gonna try to catch this, this minivan coming around the corner here, try to hit him head on. Ooh, look at that, ripped his bumper off. Sorry, oh, <laughs> bro, you can't run over the Man of Steel like that, sir. I realize your Amazon deliveries are important, but oh, oh, can I like tip him over or something? Now, unfortunately, we don't have much in terms of we can't punch, we can't grab, we can't throw or anything like that. You pretty much got walk, sprint, jump and then fly you can fly any direction you can also kind of like super speed fly oh we should we should super fly into a car that was a little anticlimactic obviously kind of a, a, a rough showcase you know what i mean like it, it's it's just to show you what's possible there's a lot of fit and finish that would go into an actual full-blown game but uh, man dude this is incredible the feeling of freedom flying around the city here now there is there are two maps that he came out with i'll show you guys a, a brief little uh look at the the other map at the end of the video but it's it's a much denser larger crazier version of new york and it's it, it honestly too much for my pc to handle even with the 3090 it can't do it so obviously you know hardware is going to have to catch up with time but dude this is just insane look at this Look at how gorgeous all of this is. <laughs> just floating down. How you doing, people of, of NYC? How you, you seen any kryptonite anywhere? Hopefully not. Dude, this looks so good. You on the phone, man? Hey, is your phone upside down, sir? It kind of looks like your phone might be upside down. All right, I'm, I'm not going to ask any questions. Mr. Kent here is so ripped. His, his lats and delts are popping out of the back of his cape there. Again, you know, not, not necessarily going to be perfect. This is just kind of a little preview of, of what's to come. But this is just so beautiful look at those reflections in the water oh my goodness look at look at the shadow of the cape like when you really sit down and, and like look look at the detail in the cracks when you sit down and, and appreciate every little thing here like it it is truly amazing and this is this is like a soul dude a soul indie developer when you think about what he's been able to accomplish here then think about you know what a whole team of developers can do with a year or more to make a game. Like it's, it's, we are going to be in for some, some real treats. That's for sure. I really wish we could pick up some, some cars and just <laughs> look at the mirrors that are flying. Dude, Unreal Engine 5 is going to be so insane. Look at these physics. Oh, what, what just happened in the background there? I mean, you got to appreciate the strength of this guy just a casual walk into this f-150 and we got this thing almost tipping over sorry ma'am I'm, I'm gonna need you, i'm gonna need you to move your car thank you i need i need the street clear please uh road road is blocked sir <laughs> people are freaking out can you imagine superman's just in traffic just <laughs> running people's cars over i so wish we could just pick these things up and start start hurling them tyson if you happen to catch this video you, you definitely won't Keep keep up the good work. First of all, second of all, let's let's get a grab and throw option. Let's be able to lift the car over our head and just chuck it out into the Atlantic out here. Cool guys walking slow motion. Look at that. Look at the sun flare coming through the the walk and don't walk signs of the <laughs> the crosswalk, dude. This is insane. And is is this guy just driving in circles? All right, I'll I'll help you. If if you're having issues, I'm sorry, ma'am. Here, I got I got your help. Can I can I push you? 
There you go. Going along your your way. No, nope. you're just gonna keep driving in circles. All right. Do, do whatever you wish. Okay, we're, we're out of here. Let's go. Dude, this is what we need. We need an open world Superman game. Why does Superman not get any love? I'm trying to think. Have I ever played a strictly Superman game? Has, has a Superman game ever come out? I mean, obviously, he, he's been in things like Injustice or whatever, like, you know, random Lego games and stuff. But in terms of, of like being the star and being a game about him, it looks like there was a handheld TV game. The most recent one was Superman Returns in 2006 on Nintendo DS, PS2, Xbox 360, and Xbox. That's crazy to me. I mean, he's, he's the GOAT, he's the OG. It's literally in his name. Like when you think about superheroes, you think about Superman, how has he not had any games? Think about like, you know, Insomniac Spider-Man. Think if we had a, a, a game like that, where instead of swinging through the city, you're flying through the city, fighting crime and saving people and, and things like that. Or uh, you know, the, the Batman Arkham series is so good. How does Superman not have his own game? Does Superman have x-ray vision? Try to use that to be able to see what our employees are working on. Want to make sure they're being productive and not in the hub or anything. But yeah, think about the freedom of, of you know, swinging around as Spider-Man and like, you know, Spider-Man and then Miles Morales are honestly two of my favorite games of all time. They are so, so, so good. So think about something like that, but you're, you're Superman being able to fly around and, and do your thing like this. This would be absolutely insane. And this is so well done. We're starting to get a little bit of frame rate action here, but like, look at this. If we go down to the ground, he's, he's even got the superhero landing. Honestly, just walking around is just this is incredible. Oh, I, that was not the angle I was going for. This this is incredible. Why do these things keep exploding into the blue polygons? What's what's happening back here? We got a little fender bender. All right, I'll I'll help you out. There you go. Okay, so this this is the the big city version, and it's I mean it gets it's running okay, just not not nearly as smooth. Look at how many buildings there are though. We aren't on a small island. We we gotta go up. We gotta go all the way up. Let's see what we're working with, bro. Is all of this, ex there's no way all of that's explorable, right? That's just stuff in the, the background, but still even, even this playable portion of the map is significantly larger than that last one we were on. Looks like we've got our downtown area over here. Yeah, we're, we're getting, oh, we've got a couple downtown areas. Okay, a couple, couple different spots with high rises. Dude, this is insane. I mean, it's, it's actually not, it's, it's doing better than I, I thought it would. Uh, definitely not as smooth as the other end though. And this, I mean, I got a, a pretty nice PC, so a uh, bit of a testament to, to what's achievable here and, you know, just kind of the longevity of, of what Unreal Engine 5 is going to offer. Look at the four-leaf clover on the freeway, all these moving vehicles and pieces and everything like that. Oh, my goodness, dude. See what happens if we if we fly kind of low. Are we going to... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's like it's lagging up a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you need you need tip of the top, super high end to to even get this to be somewhat smooth. And even then, it's it's you know, it's probably not gonna end up being perfect. I, I'm I'm just thinking about it as if like it was Spider Man. You know, any encampments up on rooftops, taking people out, doing your thing, a really solid combat. Oh, it'd be it'd be so good. I feel like part of the charm of Spider Man is is you know perfecting the, the web slinging and stuff. Obviously with Superman just being able to fly isn't quite as exciting, but I, I, I think it I think it could be pretty cool. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a uh, kind of a little preview here. Obviously not the most exciting video in the world, but it's exciting to me. I, I'm excited to see where the future of gaming goes. I don't think there's ever been as good of a time to be a gamer, and I think we've got a lot of very exciting stuff on the horizon. So I can't wait to uh, to bring that in here on the channel with you guys. So let me just guys think down in the comments. Again, I'll link his stuff down below if you guys want to check this out for yourselves. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all later. Peace out.